This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Tariq Cohen, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He was three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Pickup of three brings up second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. And seven yards to go. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Working out of the gun, Winston. And the catch is made by Riley Ridley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A third down gain of 19. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. The tackle made. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brings up second and four. To the air again with Winston. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Jameis again. The catch made by Miller. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Eight-yard pickup. The quick slant, good for eight and a first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. They'll throw again, Winston. And he finds his tight end, Graham. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And Jimmy Graham, of course, a guy who's been around a while, been with New Orleans, Seattle, and most recently with Aaron Rodgers and these Green Bay Packers the last two seasons. 
had 93 catches in a Packer uniform and went over 1,000 yards combined in those two years as well. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Again, it's Winston. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on the opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, that they are, and you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about how the defense is planning on playing them. So not only are they being successful on this drive, they're filing things away for future drives in this game. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Jameis to throw it. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Now Winston. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Forcing a fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And it's 3 0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. Take it in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 23. Rodgers 
throwing quickly out wide. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. And two at the 31-yard line. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Now Rodgers. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Packers. Delaney Walker. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers have taken the lead. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. An extra point up and good by Crosby. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the former Bear, Adrian Amos. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 44-yard line. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 44. 58 to Mike, 58, 58 to Mike. Let's go, D, tighten up. Let's go, D, tighten up. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Barkevius Mingo in that time on the tackle. Second and 10 at the 44-yard line. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line, and a penalty flag may add insult to injury. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards <laughs> against us. No way we need to take that one. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out? and giving the ball back to their offense.
Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. It's a gain of five. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, it's Patterson. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Kenny Clark came into the league as one of the youngest players ever to be drafted. He's now one of the unsung leaders of this Packers defense. Went to the Pro Bowl for the first time after the 2019 season. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. To throw, Winston. And Robinson with a big catch. And they work this out past the 25. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. A bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And the that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Second and 12 at the 38-yard line. Second and 12, Winston. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That's Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. The Bears on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Winston now. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 38-yard line. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's David Montgomery, second-year man from Iowa State. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the Packers' 32-yard line. Yeah. 
Patterson on the carry. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a first down on a gain of 10. They're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Smith on the tackle. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Second down, Montgomery, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. David Four Montgomery yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. It's Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. And the ball situated at the nine, second and goal. They'll try to throw now. Winston got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Complete to Riley Ridley, his first touchdown on the year, and the Bears have retaken the lead. I call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor in effect. to kick off for Chicago. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. One play has them up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Kirsten. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Pass the 20. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Packers have retaken the lead. 
Sometimes running plays hit or break so fast, there's no reaction time from the secondary. So I've got to give credit to the offensive line for creating that hole so suddenly. And how decisive was he to take that cut and just go? No one downfield there to stop him. at 14-10. good. Makes the score. Packers 14. Bears 10. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. On the return, it's Tariq Cohen. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. On the return, the Bears take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Zadarius Smith make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what your hope is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. 24-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. So after the INT, it's Rodgers making the catch is Sternberger. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 16-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. After the penalty, it's Jones down to the 25. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority, because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. This from 42 yards out. And the 13-year man puts it through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Ready. 
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason. So you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. the shotgun it's Winston and some room to roam now the big fella and they will score it's a Packer touchdown for Jameis Winston boy an NFL record seven pick sixes thrown last year part of his 30 interception season and he throws another wayward ball here that's returned the distance and the lead is up to 14 So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Cohen now to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Cohen on the return. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. Sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Second and 10. Second and 10 now from the 27. There's Foles. And they'll go back to Robinson. This time he's got him. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Now Foles. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, but it's going to be second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Foles. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. 
And now fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And he'll send this one into the cold Lambeau night. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. So I, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdown. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A give to Jones. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Walker with a grab, left side. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. On first down, Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams, and he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout, Devontae Adams, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. To throw again, Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 24-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Got you, boy. I got you, boy. Check out. 
Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And again, it's Rodgers. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And Crosby puts it through, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, so it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff rush coming and he's taken down. Akeem Hicks by Akeem able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So after the sack here, second and 14. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He'll rifle this one deep. It got his man complete. The 20, 10, touchdown, Packers. Marquez Valdez Scambling, 79 yards. And the Packers add on to their lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment where the guy's covering, take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by him. And once he's by him, there's no catch now. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Bulls on the handoff, here's Cohen. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he takes it across the 15 to the 46-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. First down, Bears. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
They'll try to left side. Patterson. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second and seven, Foles. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a game they ran two. that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense, rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Back to throw now on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces... Second and ten from the 33-yard line. From the gun, Winston. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. 40-yard line. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. 
They run once more with Dillon. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. He was brought well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. So many times someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, broke 1,000 yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. Now, Roquan Smith, the Bears' leading tackler last season, makes the stop. Up second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a look at the backup, Jordan Love. Lewis has it, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. And nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Dylan. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. He was Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Ball carrier. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. They'll keep it on the ground. Dylan. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A lot of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Now Jones. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. They'll try again with Jones. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season as his guys continue to pour it on. Point try now for Crosby. And he 
He's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 41. Bears 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. 25-yard line. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense they were coming off the extra week of rest but this team started sluggish and it really didn't get any better from there and trailing big here in this fourth quarter and now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield and he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32 brings up second one thing I think that's safe to say defensively the tackling's been really good and because of that it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston, that's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. Robinson. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. to go. The Bears on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and three. Working out of the gun. Winston. Open man there is Patterson complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Chicago. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. To the air again with Winston. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. And now here is another interception. Kevin King with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I really we, we enjoy. Share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really is. is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. with a give to Dillon and able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the Bears take over. At their own 16-yard line.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. So we race the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big eraser, or was that the one at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking the like the two by two inch ones that you can buy yeah, and use yeah. a, in those addition to the pencil. And those last forever. A long time, no doubt. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Winston. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten at the 46. Here's Patterson. He's going to get this inside the 30. The Another man. big hitter there. This one good for 18. Brought down at the we'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right play. now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Down, Defense has the lead. Eight. They're playing for the pass first. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. 42 the mic. Hey, watch the slam. Watch the slam. Jameis to throw it. This will be caught inside the 10. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 21 yards. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's Winston. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bears get a bit closer. That's well, been a tough day, but they finally were able to get one into the end zone, and maybe the offense will feel a little bit better about itself going into next week. And if you're a coach taking that into next week, I know you're upset, but it is a little bit more respectable, somewhat of a moral victory, right? Yeah, they probably won't say a lot of that to the team, but it is true. It's something for them to build on, and then they can call their mom and tell her, hey, mom, for your fantasy points, we got you a few down the stretch. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taking in at the three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this crowd has certainly liked what they've seen. Their guys fully expected to win this one coming in, and they have not disappointed as they've got the big lead here in the fourth. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. It's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The Packers on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. Working out of the gun. Love. 
They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. They'll take over. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. That false start costly. Moves him back to the nine now. First and goal. Winston. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him. But you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. You're going to need him later on. But it reminds me of a time that a former defense coordinator of mine told me he was in a game where his quarterback threw seven interceptions. So after the 6-1, one, one of the defensive players went to the quarterback and said, here's what you do. Throw the ball to the other team, and let's see if our receivers can pick it off and turn it into, into a completion. That's just mean. I don't know that I'd go down there and say that to him right now. Probably pretty fragile. <laughs> just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. On the keeper. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 18-yard line. Indeed, take a knee. Love on the keeper. A loss of a yard. It's now third and 13. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. Here's J.K. Scott now, standing just outside his own goal line. coordinator you just don't think you can do anything wrong whatever you call run pass it's all gonna work that's called being in the zone 
So for Green Bay, they keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 8-3 and three on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Eagles will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Bay